If you live along the central coast of California, like I do, your biggest threat from a tsunami is going to be from one that was generated at a great distance somewhere across the Pacific Ocean. This is because the most destructive tsunamis occur at subduction zones along the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire. In the past, tsunamis have been generated along the Aleutian Island Arc, the Gulf of Alaska, the west coast of South America, and Japan that have all impacted the coast of California. Now the good news about these remotely generated tsunamis is that there are now bottom sensors in the Pacific Ocean that track these events and they typically take hours before they arrive at the coast of California. Thus there is plenty of time to evacuate any areas that might be inundated by the tsunami. If you're outside or in a beach or a coastal area and you hear the sirens go off, you should evacuate the beach areas immediately tune your radio or television to a local news channels such as KCBS or one of the other stations broadcasting emergency information and you'll get specific information and instructions on what you should do in the event of that emergency. Each community may have a different method of advising people of a tsunami emergency. So you should check with your local officials, fire department, police department, or emergency management office on what your community is going to use to notify you that a tsunami emergency is taking place. More problematic in regards to how you deal with it is a local source tsunami, and that's one that's generated by a, a local earthquake or a local seismic event, could be an undersea landslide, in which case there's very little uh, warning uh, generally to the public. Matter of fact, we don't expect to be able to give any official warning. Uh, the public just has to recognize that this event has taken place, such as a very strong earthquake, and the immediate reaction we would like to see from the public, if you live in the low land area or a coastal area, is to immediately evacuate to high ground. When you're preparing for a tsunami incident, it's very smart to know your surroundings. If you're out visiting the coast, if you're walking trails along a creek or an estuary, be aware that you may be in a tsunami hazard zone. You might think that you're only in a hazard zone if you're along the beaches, but we're here in Avila Beach to show you that the creek bed to my left actually can also be a hazard. In normal flooding seasons, you will get a flow of water through your creeks down to the ocean. In a tsunami, that flow would be the exact opposite, but it would go up the creeks rather than down. So those individuals who live along creeks or who are visiting a creek and area will also be at risk. If you live along our coastline, make sure to find out what your elevation is where you live. You can contact us. We will let you know if you're in an area that we'd be calling for an evacuation or if you're not. Earthquakes and the tsunamis that could accompany an earthquake can happen at any time, night or day, in the afternoon or in the morning. If you're along the coastline, the most important thing to do is, is practice good situational awareness. Never turn your back upon the ocean. If you do experience a small earthquake, even though it's not a 7.0 earthquake or greater, there's still a chance that a locally generated seismic sea wave may be produced due to a submarine landslide. So it's extremely important if you're along the coastline and you do sense or feel an earthquake, please go to higher ground. One of the things that we try to explain to people is the tsunami is not going to be this giant wave that comes in. And a lot of people are very curious. They want to go out and look at the wave. What the tsunami actually is is a series of waves that come in. And they'll pick up debris. And when the water starts to recede, it's going to take that debris with them and the last thing you want to do is be in the wave of that debris. So we recommend to people watch it on the news, watch it from the videos that come out afterwards, but don't go down to the coast to watch it. It might be one of the last things that you actually see. You always need to remember if you feel an earthquake that's strong enough to knock you off your feet, then you need to head for high ground immediately. Don't wait for someone to tell you to go. Just immediately head for high ground. Be prepared to be without water for several days. Be prepared to be without electricity for several days. You need food. You need medications. If you are being under the treatment for any medical condition, you need to have enough medication on hand to last you the better part of a week. These are just really common sense needs. If you have something that you use every single day, you should have a number of those items on hand to last several days if you're unable to get to the store.
In addition to personal preparedness with supplies and first aid kits and radios, it is very important to have a plan for your family to reunite in case you were separated during the tsunami warning or evacuation. Make sure that you're aware of evacuation routes when you do come to the beach or lower lying areas. In the event of a tsunami, it will make it much easier for you to be able to evacuate to higher ground if you've taken notice prior to coming to the beach. We all come to the beach to enjoy the wonderful weather and the water along the California coastline. Do not let the fear of tsunamis take away from your enjoyment of these activities. However, take precautions so that you are prepared should this rare event occur. Preparedness starts at home. You're the first line of defense. There's only so much that we in the response community can do for you. The more of you that take care of yourself, the more we can take care of other people who can't take care of themselves. So we ask you to prepare, to look at real threats like the tsunami, put them into a family plan, include the considerations that you need to make for your family to keep it safe. Remember, if you get a tsunami warning, if you suspect a tsunami, heed it. Get out of the area, move to high ground, take care of your family, take care of yourself.